shot. Mr. Scott, you're charged with aggravated sexual assault. Your case is in the 337th District Court. Your judge is Judge Herb Ritchie. The plaintiff stated that she was at her residence sleeping in the bed with her two children, ages 10 and 7, when she woke up and observed the defendant standing near the patio door in her bedroom. The complainant stated that the defendant pointed a gun at her, and then the defendant instructed the children to leave the room. Before the children left the room, the complainant passed her cell phone to her daughter and instructed her in Arabic to call the police. The defendant then told the complainant to take her clothes off. The complainant stated that the defendant, while still holding the gun, began to kiss her and choke her. The defendant laid the gun down beside the bed and removed the complainant's clothing. The defendant then raped her vaginally by placing his sexual organ and her sexual organ for approximately five minutes. The complainant stated that the defendant then stopped, put on a condom, and continued to rape her vaginally for five more minutes until he heard the police arrive, exited the patio door of the residence. The officers found the defendant hiding nude or partially nude, covered with a bed sheet, about 500 yards from the complainant's apartment. They found the defendant's clothing with his wallet and contained his ID and a firearm and condom wrapper in the complainant's residence. I'm going to find probable cause. I don't know how your bond was set at $30,000. It appears you have four felony convictions. You're currently on a federal probation until 2026, so I'm going to raise your bond to no bond and refer it to the court. If you need a lawyer to help you, you're going to hire your own. All right. I'm going to, in the meantime, put you down to be appointed to a lawyer. If you hire your own lawyer, they can take over the case. You can go ahead and step to your left, sir. Thank you.